It's fine. You got this. At the world's most convoluted battle plan. Yes. And it, watch, it not, watch it not work, though. That's the that's the bad part. Spent all this time, and then, yeah. Hey, folks, Quilly Keen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hoi 4 as the People's Republic of China and Soviet Union with Briarstone. Greetings. We are both prepping some wars. We are. Nationalist China and Turkey. <laughs> Turkish workers, your liberation is near. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I think, well, you know, when you deleted your uh, battle plan, I think a lot of the battle plans got deleted, including your ground invasion, so you may need to reset that as well. Yeah. Actually, I have it toggled on so I can see your, your battle plans here. <gasps> the 4th International. With supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead, the groundwork for the 4th International was laid. <gasps> that Trotsky guy, though. Here he's a troublemaker. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can paint this off properly. Oh, what just happened? Oh, oh, oh! Hold on. Okay. Everything uh, at the same time. Yeah. So the Sudetenland part of Czechoslovakia has been ceded to Germany. Hmm. And Brands, Brands, <laughs> France and Britain have hmm. announced an alliance. They're now allies. And Hungary is renouncing some treaty of something. So it's fine. Oh, uh, give me. Okay, never mind. I was just gonna oh. try to get my uh, units with an offensive plan real fast. Oh, pause again. I'm just trying to like section it off, you know, bit by bit. I don't want to go down there. I guess it's too late now. Now, one of the things I noticed on your uh, your Polish front, you've got two armies there overlapping on their fronts. What you can do is instead of like having each army do the entire country as a front, you could like click and drag to do like, you know, one army does half of Poland and one army does the other half of Poland. You could do stuff like that. It doesn't matter right now because you're not about to go to war against Poland, but in the future. Mm. Yeah, okay. Um, offensive lines... I'm just trying to draw out like smaller chunks for my my huge army so they don't get spread too thin. I want them really, really strong on each and every front. Yep, yep, yep. And it's probably a section it out a bit more than necessary, but I don't know. You probably know more about this than I do. Um, I'm just lazy. I tend to make big giant fronts and then I complain when my armies keep like strategically redeploying and everything goes to shit. <laughs> So, <laughs> you're probably fine. All right, there's that. All right, I'm gonna pause. Yeah, that's fine. So, when's your your uh, your plan ending? Uh, February nineteenth of thirty nine. Okay, so you got a few months before the Turkish war starts, and hang on, am I not justifying a war goal? I'm confused. Did I not start justifying a war goal over here? Mm hmm. I don't know. I've got my boat set for seek and destroy. I'm very confused. I was sure I'd started that. I must have hit cancel or something, or a window popped up and in, in like confused me. Damn it, I want to start this before Japan eats it all. Move industry to the Urals. When I'm at war, I can do that. So when I pop war, that's one of the things I'm going to start doing immediately. Actually. At least we'll pop them all up. Free civilian factories. Military factories, civilian factories. Let's continue building uh, military factories, I guess. I hear that helps you win wars. Military is pretty good. All right, keep doing that. We're training up over here in terms of equipment. We've got a stockpile starting, which is nice, finally. Hopefully most people are upgraded. Not everyone's upgraded to the latest guns, but they're pretty good. More civilian factories. I'm actually going to go and queue up a few more civilian factories, actually. 
Oh man, and when we go to war, is it okay if I ask for the, the, the speed to be dropped just a touch? Mm -hmm. At least at the beginning, because I want to see what's going to happen, whether or not my plans are actually going to be met properly or <laughs> disastrous. Oh. Uh, unassigned divisions, okay. You are not being assigned to the front anymore. There we go. Excellent. Got some XP. So you're at 20. We still have no support divisions, right? Okay. Let's leave you for now. Let's get it. I'm wondering if I should do, like, the 40 combat with infantry backed by, like, one heavy tank thing. I mean, the train's really not good for tank movement, but, I mean, that doesn't really apply with heavy tanks anyway. Hmm. I don't know. See, by forcing China to defend on my front, I might just be hastening their downfall to Japan. Might be backfiring here. Eh, we'll see. How do I... Why is it not letting me get out of selecting these... What's happening here? Maybe mm -hmm. I just do that and pop out. No. Still wants me to select something. Or... I have select no... a what? I've got basically all of my airports and I can't escape out of it. Selected. It's just showing me like, yeah, you can move units here oh, or there. You're probably in airplane uh, map mode. Hit like F1. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. So yeah, the bottom right corner, there's three big buttons there for default map mode, which is ground, strategic Navy and strategic air. Okay. Significant development. Yeah. The fall of Nanjing. China's falling quick. Hmm. No, that's back. okay. You're gonna fight. I could go for some other people. Yeah. I... I could go after Yunnan or something instead. Get mm. up on the border of the French holdings in uh, in Vietnam. Go and take their rubber later. Japanese build up. Oh, shit. Hold on. I want to read some of this if I could just real fast. Uh, Joseph Stalin mm -hmm. questions the motives of Turkey. At least there were. There is. There will be an end to this conflict. <laughs> that's one of my favorite lines. Uh. Tensions along the Manchurian border push back hard, political power minus 25. One or two options will happen. 60% chance it gets event successful raid. 40% chance gets event failed raid. I could push back, or I cannot afford to war with Japan. No, I can definitely push back. Yeah. Push back hard. Alright, so I'm going to let that go. I still don't have my uh, war goal, I guess, because I'm grayed out on declare war against Turkey. So, How do you know yeah, yeah, how long it takes? Oh, if you right-click on, well, if you look at your own view or you right-click on Turkey, uh, you can mouse over your war justification there. You're going to be done on the 19th of February. War justification. Where do I see that? So if you right-click on Turkey, on the diplomacy view on the left-hand side. Um, First of all, the independence of Turkey is guaranteed by Romania. I That's fine. Although it means if you go to war against Turkey, you will also be going to war against Romania. So basically that means I should probably go down here and... Yeah, you don't care about the Polish border. Just go and put all your troops on the border of Romania. Get ready to kick their ass. But yeah, yeah. you're going to be done on the 19th of February. Okay. It's doing it again, I think. By the way, you have a ton of idle troops in the northern parts of my country. From the previous war there. Um, oh yeah, because they're just they're useless right now, right? Um, oh, we can unpause it if you want. Uh, it's, it's fine. Okay. It's just uh, move these guys. Keep you over there. I think we'll do the heavy tank thing. Oh, is that pieced? Okay, China is now a puppet. Yes, that ends my war justification. Okay, so there's nothing going on there. Hmm. Shit, so much is happening. It goes from like nothing happening to everything is happening. Turkish workers, your liberation is near. Just a, a, little, a little smidgen of uh, propaganda. Oh, man. I know it's a little so bit early for the atomic research, but then again... <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. This is good. I hear nukes are cool, so I gotta figure out what the frick I'm doing with my army. Do I wanna take Yunnan? Maybe. 
Partially fascist. I wonder if they join a faction. Oh. Okay. Right, so I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I want to take this group of units over there. Too many troops, but I don't know. What else am I going to do with them? There's no sense having that big of an army. We'll see what the attrition does when we get there. Sorry, the I reorganized am... nationalist China as a puppet of Japan. Hmm. We're gonna split that in two. Oh, you still have that. There we go. Back to boosting popularity then. That's probably the way I want to do that. Um Wow, okay. So ha 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 ha. Yeah, I could send some some troops over there too if you need some, but I think you're going to be okay. I but you don't have any divisions actually assigned on your Romanian front. Not not yet. I um. Well, where are they? I want just these guys. Why are four different things happening? I get four different armies are selected when I click just these twenty five groups. I don't know what you mean. Like oh you're you're clicking on some troops on the map and it's selecting a bunch of armies. Yeah, just yeah. Yeah, because you have you have many armies assigned to like all of your front lines. Like you can actually see, especially at Turkey, like it's four lines deep. You actually have multiple armies on the front line of Turkey, and they're all like intermingled. Okay. Which may or may not be what you want, but it's what you got. I suppose we can unpause now. Sorry. Okay. <sighs> You got 82 divisions in the front line of Turkey. And amazingly, you don't have any attrition anymore. I guess that's what you get when you raise your freaking uh, infrastructure like mad. Yep. <laughs> I don't even want to go. Do I want to go into Romania? No, I just want to hold that border. Romania? Yeah, I mean, at some point you'll probably want to go in there, but you might, like, you'll have to invest more if you want to go in. But you could probably kick their ass. How many divisions they've got? They've got, I don't know, 20 to 40 divisions in total. Okay. Turkey's got 20 to 40 divisions in total as well. Carve, 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 carve all the carving. Carve it up like a turkey. <laughs> all right. But yeah, you still don't have any troops actually assigned to the Romanian border. Like, you've drawn a front line there, but there's no troops assigned to the front line. It says no divisions. Why is it not letting me do that? I have, I've got them selected. Why are they not moving well, there? The army you've got selected is probably also aligned, assigned to some other front. No, no. I've, I've, the only one is just 18 units. Yeah. Well, then take the army, like, and then control click on the front line in Romania, and then they'll be assigned there. But I'm willing to bet that's what actually happened. They're probably assigned to some other front somewhere. Okay. I'm willing to bet. <laughs> Indeed. Powder keg never disappoints. Mm, Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. Research that. All right. Okay. I think we're good. Well, in a moment. They're moving in now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. This is way too much shit. The attrition here. Not bad right now. Okay. Military factories. Actually, let's go back to here for that. If I want tanks, I want tanks. I'm going to create a new commander. can exercise. Oh man, you have a lot of green troops over here. Oh, it's because I changed your, your shit. <clears throat> When's my justification going to finish? March. Uh-oh. Holy shit. No! What? A massive civil war will break out soon. Communism is one country <laughs> that's failed. We need Trotsky. A minor <laughs> civil war will break out. <laughs> that's what you get! For not purging people! <laughs> oh. It says a minor one over a massive... <laughs> what? Shit! Uh, I'm really curious to see what'll happen if you after the civil war. I'm just wondering. I mean, everyone just purges. It's just the way it goes. Yeah, I I'm thinking about going. I'm, I'm thinking about going like completely balls to the wall. Like just unthinkable. Oh. Have the massive civil war. Try to fix it, contain it, and then continue on. Yeah. Because I mean, I don't. I don't. 
want Trotsky to come back. Or maybe I maybe I do. You know what? Yeah. I mean, there's a whole national idea. There's the, the, the thing you can click on when Trotsky returns. It's the uh, that permanent revolution. That'd be completely so we'll different. See. Oh, communism one country has failed. We need Trotsky. Let's try it. Let's do it. <sighs> okay. All right. I'll send some troops to help you. I I would I would appreciate it. Um, Go ahead and uh, unpause whenever. Okay. <clears throat> I don't, I don't see a uh, civil war yet. It said soon. People's commissariat, home of the revolution, Trotsky at plot. <laughs> this is fine. This is okay. <laughs> and it'll happen while you're in the middle of your war with Turkey. It's going to be awesome. Probably. Okay. Yeah, divisions assigned. That's good. That's good. Turkey okay. gets event. Joseph Stalin angered by Turkish posturing. Regardless, we must get the people ready for war. I don't think I need any of these guys. Um, I like army regrouping. I'm going to take that before I take the tank research. Find yourself over there. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. World news, another batch of maps made obsolete. That the one oh, yeah. Oh. German right claims memo. Yep. Wow. They're getting kind of large over there. At least through war, there will be an end to this conflict. Yep. Motive to Turkey. Actually, that's a pretty big tech discount. Let's grab that. Still no revolution. All right, that's good. So very soon, I think Germany will annex the rest. Oh yeah, the rest of Czechoslovakia. That's what they're doing now. Then they'll research a couple other things, and then they'll be declaring war on Poland somewhere probably around September, depending on exactly how the timing works out because of things. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that will be the initiation of World War II. Although we will not be involved in any fighting over there. No. Still no guarantees here to worry about. That's good. It's February. You should be able to declare your war very soon in Turkey. I didn't actually... I never found the uh, the meter that says it's going. Or how long it takes. Right-click on Turkey. I have. Okay. And then on the left-hand panel where it says diplomacy, you see two little things over there. You see the red... Oh, the red Soviet flag Union there. Flag? Okay. Yeah, mouse over your flag and it'll say. There you February 19th, 1939. Yeah, two days. And I'm just going to hit the... I'm going to have to pause it and then... Declare war. Yeah. Okay, pause. And make sure second. to hit play on all your armies. Yes. Because you can always hit play on your armies even before you declare war. They won't do anything yet, but then the second the war starts, then they'll charge forward. Okay, so let me just go ahead and start that then. Play. Play. I have enough play. factories. I can get the extra research slot, can't I? More factories than 50. I have exactly 50. That's funny. Okay, well, then I know what I need to do. All right. Oh, I probably should get a um, a general for my marines as well. Is there an uh, yes, amphibious definitely. dude in here anywhere? Uh, there might be, but... I don't see one. So I'm just going to yeah, go for I, a I... skillful one. Yeah, sure. Four seems pretty And good. did you ever set your boats out on your mission? Your, your fleet in the Black Sea? They seem to just be standing there. In your port. Well, um, I thought I had assigned them. Say so they are search and destroy. There they go. Now they're moving out. I don't know. I guess I didn't actually oh, did right you, click. You when you click search and destroy, you then have to like click on a C zone for them. Yeah, to search and I didn't yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Good. That's good because then they can protect your uh, your navy, your marines rather. All right. That's these guys. Just making sure everything is set up. So these guys have that. These guys need you. I think that's everything. Maybe. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know. It's fine. You got this. It's the world's most convoluted battle plan. Yes. And it, watch it not work. watch it not work though. That's the that's the bad part. Spent all this time and then yeah.
Let's do it. Go, go. Alright, All right, here we go. Right clicking, and it's declare war. Um, conquer, call allies? Hey, I could do that. No, I'm not going to do that. Not for now. Sure. Okay. Yeah, you don't need it yet. So I'm making sure I do this right. So declare war. It's the first time I've ever done this. Declare war, conquer. Uh huh. And that's it. Just yeah. say sent. That's fine. Boom! United Soviet Union declares war on Turkey. Okay, you. Okay, I'm pausing. And if you want to bring down the uh, the speed or, or not, it doesn't right. matter. I suppose. Yeah, just... We'll bring it down to a three. It's gonna be fine. There's really not a lot of micro for you to do in this. The most exciting thing will be to watch uh, Istanbul and see if your uh, Marines actually take it. All right, I'm unpausing. Okay. Your advance into Romania is looking good. Lots of green. Lots Although of... it was. It was lots of green. Oh, it was, then it stopped. Yeah, that's okay. And presumably the Marines are going. Uh, they're, they're making it slow down a bit because it looks like Turkey might be attacking in that port. Could have put your marine somewhere else to launch as well, but it's going to be fine. It's not going to make a difference. Ish. Although maybe they won't have as much organization. Eh. You've got a naval battle going on as well. You cut out the uh, the Turkish fleet. You have fairly superior numbers. Oh, you don't have an admiral for your fleet. That's something else you could do. Uh, where? How do I select my fleet again? Oh, there they are. An admiral for my fleet. Can I not do? Oh, yes, I can. I'm just picking anybody and everybody at the moment. Go! Get in there! Be a part of this thing! Still, so much stuff is happening. Modify our government? Jesus, aye, 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 aye. Um. Material design. Aye, 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 aye. No template using that stuff? That's okay. Join wars. Request from Mongolia. What? Mongolia wants to join your war. I should have let. Should have yeah, let. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, there's someone in the common term. They want to show you their support. They probably won't do anything. But, you know, they'll be there to cheer things on. I am not doing they too will. well on my front in... Uh... I I'm going to join your war. I'll, I'll throw some extra troops at Romania. My front in uh, Romania, yeah, is not going well. Yeah, it, I mean, it's fine. It's actually, like, far from the end of the world if you don't push there. As long as it at least holds... You'll be okay, because you can always then go and uh, do something later. I will actually hold on. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna focus on the shore over here and push something like that. Okay, 16 divisions. Good, good, good. Yeah, there's a bunch of different reasons. I mean, they've got relatively good troops. They're probably dug in. I don't know if they've got any forts. No, I don't. Not as far as I can tell. But attacking is a lot harder than defending. I thought for sure I had those guys. Oh, your marines are on the way. They're almost there in Istanbul. Come on, baby. I still don't see any troops there yet. We'll find out if they've got anyone parked. Now, Istanbul is not actually their capital, but it is their highest uh, victory point province. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. A lot of back and forth on that border. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's not going to go quick. Some wars go super fast. Attacking Turkey is never fast. No? No, it's always a really slow freaking process. Mountains, like, it's mountains and deserts and no infrastructure, and yeah, it's... It's a slog. In terms of Romania, attacking there would be easier if you had more tanks. Tanks tend to have a good breakthrough rating. They're really good at, like, actually attacking. And as far as I can tell, there's literally no one in Istanbul. So you're just going to take that one for free. And you could start pushing east out of Istanbul with your marines. Like, you can take the rest of their little, like, their land on that side of the strait right now with your marines. Like, just take one marine and then, like, have them run around there to take all that province. And then with the others, you can start pushing east just very slowly and cautiously. Am I... Hold on. What's happening? They're not moving. I have them the set to move. What's happening over here? Mm -mm. Lots of attrition, lots of attrition, which I I expect. It's mountains, damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Turkish troops are getting some attrition as well. Why are these guys not moving? Well, I've paused it right now. Oh, okay. Shit. Okay. You seem to be freaking out about stuff. I'm freaking out about everything, man. <laughs> yeah, you you haven't issued any commands to your uh, your Marines though. 
Um, like I told they're... them to move to uh, offensive line. Right? Right, and then you hit play? Yeah, they're on play. You might want to manually um, like move one to take a little bit of provinces or something, too. All right, I'm just going to do that, then. My little bit of micromanage is happening. Oh, my God, I forgot to stop my troops from freaking exercising. No, select, stop exercising. <laughs> yes. You just get to the front lines and start doing push-ups. Yeah, that's what I was doing on for my war. Because <laughs> I'm good at this game. <laughs> so much for peace. Mm, Czechoslovakia. Uh... Meanwhile, Zog submits to Italy. Insufficient resources. Okay. What do I need? More rubber? There's so much going on. I have no idea when to start reading stuff, or what I'm supposed to be reading, or how to be changing. Basically, I have just set up my battle plan, and if anything does not work, I don't even know how to change it. I'm just yeah, like, well, let's just go. <laughs> the thing is, like, it, Hoi is about, like, you know, as much as possible. Like, the idea is, oh, yeah, your, your generals should be the ones that are handling the fighting and stuff, and that's okay. In practice, sometimes you'll find vulnerabilities, and you, you'll be able to, like, manually just, like, box select a group of dudes and just, like, move them around or something like that. But we actually have no organization, so might stop. Have to wait a little bit longer. Okay, but we'll do something there soon. These guys keep going back to Istanbul after every single damn thing, and they don't move from there. I'm trying to get them. That's up. Well, your front line is set there. I don't know where your offensive line is set for them. This doesn't. It doesn't look like they have an offensive line. I I've drawn it like 15 times. Yep. I don't know. Maybe they can't cross the strait. I I'm not sure. All right, well, I've got all that territory there now. Maybe I should just redraw the offensive line. Or not the offensive just, line, but the... Yeah, tell you what, delete their battle plan completely. Like, just select them, right-click the trash can. On just your Marines. Where are they? Okay, there they are. Okay. Right-click the trash pan. Okay. All right. As soon as this little skirmish is done, just right-click after this on, like, Dutze or whatever to, like, just force move them over there without making a front line. We'll just see if that works. Where's Dutze? The city just across the way. It's like... Or just click on the next province. Oops. Uh, take all states. Oh, I gotta... Hang on a sec here. I can't... Oh, uh, Soviet Union, could you pass, please? Pass what? Uh, just hit the pass button in this peace treaty. How do you have more war score <laughs> than I do in the war that I declared and did all the fighting in? Well, because I'm terrifying. All right, hit done. All right. <laughs> That's oh. hilarious. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Mao Zedong to lead the war against oh, Jesus, the uh, still got stuff I gotta do. Romania. Yeah, there you go. So your Marines are, are crossed now, just fine. So now try giving them the front line and the offensive line again. And I don't know. I don't know what was going on, but it should be fixed now. Alright. Um, let's see. Make it simple. First things first. We're just gonna move that way. Okay. Moving in. Right. Do you have any planes flying over Romania? I thought I did. Um, oh yeah, you've got air support. Yeah, no, we're good. We're fine? Okay. Yeah. It's like, I honestly, he's like, well, do you? And I'm like, maybe? <laughs> thought so? Bases. Enemy has air superiority. Bases low in supplies. What is happening? Well, you have some places where we have lower supplies. But you are pushing to Turkey. 
So first of all, supplies are going to get shittier and shittier as we move into air enemy territory. Because, like, again, you're moving to tougher, tougher territory with less and less infrastructure, and the fighting tends to blow up infrastructure as well. So, yeah, there's going to be supply problems, but, you know, that's okay. Means things are going well. Oh, I see air superiority over me. I want air superiority over myself. Let's see if I can do that. I should develop more infrastructure across my own country here. Just keep walking through some areas and then starving to death. It's not great. Oh. Is there a way I can see how many people have died so far? And yep. also, if you click do I want to see it? <laughs> if you click on the war, at the top of the screen, there's the We Are at War with Turkey and the Kingdom of Romania. Uh... If you click on that, it'll bring up the details. <clears throat> so you have lost, or we collectively, but mostly you, have lost 300,000 men. Uh -huh. The other side has lost 150,000 men. So it's <laughs> losing on a 2 to 1 ratio. Yeah. Ugh. Let me just wait for the next one, actually. But I am gaining ground, that's the other thing. And that, well, how many men do I have? How do I see how many... What's my population? Oh, I have a lot uh, of manpower. Well, your, your manpower. Yeah, like, I have 10 million in the bank, manpower-wise, right now. I've only got 740 now. Yeah, but you, you don't have uh, very severe conscription laws yet. Then maybe I should do, do that. Well, I mean, you're okay right now, but yeah, you will want to change your conscription laws to be a little bit more aggressive and get some more people in there. Um... Maybe I should be training some more people. Uh, train? Yes. Go infinite, I guess. Actually, add one more. There we go. Now, be careful with your Marines. You don't want to overextend too much, because they could get, you know, cut off and surrounded or different things like that. Okay. But... They've done a good job. Hell, you can actually move more troops over there. You know what? That's what I should fucking do with my guys. Hang on. Screw Romania. Uh, why is the front all screwed up like that? I guess it's fine. I'm going to see if I can jump across the sea. I, I don't have any convoys, actually, so I probably can't. I just realized. Yeah, never mind. Micromanaging this. Something about that. Right here. Build me just haven't one taken, naval dockyard. Oh, haven't taken any of uh, Romania yet. Uh, Romania? Yeah. Yeah, I know. They're they're putting up a tough defense. Ooh, he joins the Axis. Um, I do have like the bulk of my troops arriving soon. No deals with the fascists. What are these guys yeah, doing? Uh, oh, I should take the doctrine effort. What am I doing? I'm being a derp. How come I cannot move back? My troops here. I'm trying to like give them all back to the actual. Peninsula province there. Oh, I am lo I got I got I just got cut off. What the fuck? That's what I said with your Marines, don't get overextended. Well that's just it. Like I'm trying to make them go back, but they won't. Well you have you still have a front line assigned for them. So oh, as long as they've got a front line, they're gonna keep trying to go there. You may just have to cancel their orders and tell them to do something else manually. Control click, right? Or no. To Wait. cancel orders, just right click the trash can. There. Damn it! I was try. Okay, I have to get rid of the orders, even though. Okay, that's just annoying. I mean, they were doing what they were instructed to do. Yeah, I know. Can't blame it's, the Marines. It's my own derpiness, but it's just yeah. annoying because I, I didn't understand. Yeah. So some of them might get cut off and bopped. Your your trio of guys that are like just across the strait from Istanbul, they can probably keep holding that territory there. So I don't think all is lost.
Meanwhile, I'm a third of the way into Turkey. Jesus. There you go. I should start making some progress on Romania here. I've got a lot of troops, and they're pretty concentrated. That's what you need. Strong Chinese fighters. We'll show you how to Yes. Do Please. I need all the help I can get. I'm such a right, dirt. So we're starting to fail a little bit. Oh, I'm starting to have supply problems over here. It might just be too packed. Oh, and there was a counterattack. That's part of it, too. <clears throat> I want to pinch off that one guy and get back together. Because they have cut me off. Yeah, it looks like you're succeeding in maybe rejoining your guys. That's going to be nice. And yeah, you're still pushing in on Turkey. I'm willing to bet if you take Ankara, that'll be that'll be it for Turkey. They'll GG out. Actually, even maybe before that. I lost one of my divisions. Where did I hit that? Probably because I'm taking attrition. That those six are taking attrition. Yeah, well, the the six have like no no supply anymore, right? Right. They're completely out of supply. They're running out of bullets and food. When can I join up? Surrounded. I hate being surrounded, and I can't seem to fight my way back into this one goddamn little province. Yeah, see, I don't have much breakthrough because I don't have tanks, I don't have artillery. My troops can hold the front for a long time, but whether or not they can actually punch through it here. Ah. Or something. Well, you're still pushing in from the east, so that's good. Yeah, I'm going to lose the Marines, though, I think. Due to sheer ineptitude. Oh, we're attacking across a river here. That's Yeah, I'm down to five divisions. Yeah. Okay, oh, down okay, to three divisions. Stack wiped. Yep. So tell your three guys to stop attacking. And just put, like, a little front line, like, right where they are, and, like, do nothing. Just chill. How do I put... Okay. Front line. Yeah, just hold that and don't lose it, and that's going to be quite good. Just waiting for a discount over there. Planes at some point would be nice, I hear. Is there no encryption, decryption radars? No, we'll hold off on that. Ah, but we can get... I don't know. Better factories. Better artillery. I'm going to start improving my troops soon. Low manpower. Yeah, so you only need to change the conscription laws. I don't know how to do that. Uh, it's one of your laws in your country. It's like 150 political power, basically. I have uh, I have 150, yeah. No, oh, there you go. So, it's the top leftmost law. Volunteer only. Oh, okay. Limited Okay, extensive. Oh, wait, no. Recruit... Hmm. More conscription, more better. You want to, like... Um... I need to Extensive. go limited. You can only go limited? Yep. Okay, that's fine, yeah. And what'll happen, so it's probably, what, 300 for extensive? Mm-hmm. Once you go to limited, it'll only be another 150 to go to extensive after that. So yeah, you can go in, like, small increments and you're gonna be fine. You know what we need? We're gonna need another naval invasion for uh, Romania. That's what we need. Uh, so I need more... Yeah. I, I you guess can't I... punch through a front, you go around it. It's probably a smart idea. Stalin Constitution. Doing it. Hello. Um, you might finally breach this river here, right on the shore. Eighty-nine percent and climbing. Ninety percent, ninety-one percent. We might finally get across this river. That would be superb. It's a good chance, like, these Romanian guys, they're losing a lot of their organization. They may not have enough equipment. Like, we may have burned through their, their source of equipment. Oh, uh, we've also way overburned our time on this video oh, here. Oh, Jesus. Everything's been going so crazy. It, we're, we're so focused on everything. Yeah, absolutely. But we should go and put a cut in here. And next episode, finish the war against Romania. But yeah, whenever you get an opportunity, whenever you're planning wars, always assume pushing through the front line is going to suck because people dig in, if there's river crossings, anything like that, attacking is really hard. So anytime we can find an opportunity to bypass the front line with marine invasions, maybe even multiple marine invasions, 
it's fantabulous. Like taking Istanbul like this was huge, and we could we could consider doing even more going forward. But okay. I think I think Romania, we're gonna punch through now and we're gonna make progress in the future. So thank you for watching, comrades. <sighs> we'll see you next time. Later. If there is anything about this video that you did indeed enjoy, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content such as this, and I'll see you again later. And if you're feeling super generous, please check out the Patreon site where you can support me if you have the means and know that I will be eternally grateful. Have a good day, have a good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is Briar Stone, signing out.